tougher than others. And the higher you climb, the tougher it gets. And so, you know, I wanted to build a foundation and a culture that can not only sustain success, but handle it personally. And people ask me when I knew that we were on the right track. And I, and I said this in 2010. I said, I knew in 2010 that we were doing the right things and our culture was taking root. J-Ron. So how's it how's it to be down here in sunny sunny Florida, J-Ron? Uh, it, it feels real good. You know, uh, you got you got me from down here. But uh, coach out the year, coach of the year, coach of the year, coach of the year, award out the award. I know, I get no problem. To be named the coach of the year by numerous organizations. Well, when you got guys like Marcus Edmond and J. Ron Curse, you got guys that come from you know the sunny state of Florida to come to little old Clemson, South Carolina. That's how you become coach of the year. You know, coach of the year. I hadn't made a tackle. I hadn't called a pass. I hadn't you know run a ball. But I got a lot of players who have, and, and uh, so it's a blessing because when you're coach of the year, it means you got a, you got a great team, and that's what we got at Clemson. Coach, let me get both of y'all looking the same. Both of y'all looking the same. Got it. That's it, Coach. Lee. So, J. Ron, why did you come to Clemson? Uh, I came to Clemson because it gave me the best opportunity. And I knew I was going to get coached by a great coach, Coach Venable. He's, he's pretty tough on me sometimes, but uh, he wants the best for me. You guys want the best for me. And Let me ask you this. Have I always been easy on you? Oh, no, definitely. No, 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 no. By far. But you, you know I love you, right? Best, you haven't always been the best to deal with, but I know you want the, I know you want the best And what's for been me. the most difficult part of me? You won't let me settle for less? I won't. There you go. And I won't let you swag it up like you want, will I? <laughs> oh, yes. That's been the main, the main problem between me. Tell them what happened in the ACC Championship game in pregame. Oh, man. It's a great story. Well, lights on Clemson in North Carolina. I felt like I... I wanted to switch it up a little bit. <laughs> Come out there with my all white cleats on with the icy bottom. I may have got, I got through it a little bit. Took Coach Sweeney came over there to do his annual check on the DBs. And I was sent to the locker room. A little embarrassed. And what I tell you? Too much for uh, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I told him he could stay in the locker room. But guess what? He was right back out there. With oh, no. Nah. Got you, though. Got you. You always kept this positive. You about your childhood and things like that. Have you always kept this positivity through that? Uh, yeah. I mean, it beats all turning. Uh, well, 10 minutes. Slightly less than 10 minutes remaining in Clemson's session. It's, uh, it's a lot bigger, better yeah, of course. to be positive than negative. You know, that's what the Bible says, you know. Worrying doesn't add a day to your life. So, uh, you know, I, I, I just tried to always live my life. I want to ask you about notes. Have you ever gone back and found something in this school? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Can you think of any one example? Yeah, and I, my one's not one thing that jumps out right now, but... Uh, you know, I go back to, I kind of write a state of the union every year. Right. Uh, 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 you know, I go back. I got you. Those each year, it's interesting to go back to maybe my first year. And kind of what, I mean, where we are now. Uh, I go back to those when I was in Alabama. Uh, yeah, all the time. And then the years you weren't coaching your team, is that right? Yeah, two years, two seasons. My oh, life's my seasons. Uh, <laughs> two, two seasons uh, in real estate development in, uh, in Alabama. But I, but I really didn't. I was in, in Las Vegas and Kansas and Colorado. Uh, and uh, it's a great experience. Pretty good at it? Yeah, really good. <laughs> hey, coach. Made a lot more money than I did coaching. Uh, uh, that's for sure. Coach, um, all your guys have talked to. Uh, all morning about how much fun they're having here. As a coach, how nice is it to see your guys enjoying what's been a really special season? Well, I think it's great. They earned it. Uh, you know, we didn't get like picked to come here. Uh, they they earned their way here, and uh, I want them to enjoy it. You know, but, but they all know that the fun's in the winning. And uh, so our focus is on trying to win the ball game. Uh, and when we go to work, it's been really just phenomenal meetings. Uh, practices, everybody locked in. Uh, you know, everybody understands that, that you got a really, really small margin for error in a game like this. 
uh, so the attention to details has been great. Uh, but we, when we've had time to check out, like yesterday, we had a little beach party from three to six, and, and we had some of the best volleyball competitions you've ever seen. And a little jet ski riding, and had a lot of fun. Um, what have your guys told you about the break? A lot of the defensive players said yesterday they, they just needed those days off. Well, I mean, you play 10 games in a row and a physical game like this, it's going to take a toll. Let's just, you just you keep going. I mean, we don't really talk about it when you're in the process of it. What good is that going to do? You know, let's, we got to go. Uh, nobody cares. Uh, but And then you play an extra game. Uh, you know, it was very important to get our guys healthy. And, uh, and I have really seen a difference. I mean, it's almost like we're getting ready for an opener again. You know, the guys are fresh, they're ready to go. And, you know, we're going to be a fast football team. Uh, hopefully we'll play well, a fast team that plays well. But we're going to have some dudes flying around that field. Uh, very close. We've spent time with your families. What has this season meant to your family, to your wife, to your kids? I mean, this, this had to be a lot of fun. Yeah, and for me personally, it's been a, it's been a spiritual season. Uh, you know, I lost my dad August 8th, uh, right in the middle of two days. And, uh, you know, just get plucked out of camp you know, back in Alabama. And, trying to plan a funeral for my dad and something that I wasn't anticipating and, and then you kind of just get plugged right back in and plugged in into what you're doing and, and next thing you know you're just 13 and 0. Uh, I don't know it's just it's been a it's been an amazing year all I know is Clemson hadn't been undefeated uh, since 1981 and Big Earl Sweeney goes home with the Lord August 8th and we're undefeated uh, so it's been a spiritual year for me. It really has. And I think magical for our fan base. Uh, and a lot of fun. You know, it hasn't been easy. It's been a lot of work, a lot of grinding. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you, love, when you love what you do and you get to do it at a place like Clemson where you sell out every game, 